Maria, mi amor, ¿cuál es tu deber? Dime. I categorize our staff as being passionate about what they do, uh, loving the students, loving their profession, being excited to come to work every day, as I have been for almost 39 years. Wayland's a great place. The kids are great, the uh, support of the community is great, and um, we feel very supported, so we want to do a good job. You're in a constant rejuvenation to be a good teacher, I think, and I think the language department really is made up of people who feel that way about themselves, is that we're lifetime learners, and we have, we really want our students to do well and to love language. Wayland High School is gifted with many, many incredible teachers. You need to love what you do, and of course, everything's not going to be fun, but you can certainly make creative lessons and make the learning environment exciting for the students. So they, they want to take ownership of their own language learning. Those kids were out there creating. I wasn't really prompting them. They were making mistakes, and the other students were supporting them. And it kind of just kind of took its own life. And I wasn't really directing it. The kids knew that they could make a lot of mistakes. They could do a lot of practice. Uh, they had practice, you know, this is what we do as a regular routine, so they're very comfortable in what they do. But I think the kids understand that I want them to speak, that we want them to talk. And no matter how it comes out or how it sounds, it's going to be okay. And that they'll be improving. And we want them to have fun. Learning can really be fun in language. I love science because there's always something new to get out of it, you know, there's always one step further and there are direct applications to us people. How can I help somebody who's sitting next to me who's suffering from a disease? Science is the answer, you know, how can, how can I help the major problems of this world? Science is the answer. The Wayland High School Science Department has been incredible. They are always so helpful, so willing to go the extra mile for you. If you need a teacher, they will definitely be there for you. And it's very easy to develop a strong relationship with a teacher. So the classes at Wayland High School definitely set a basis for what the scientific field is really like. This year I'm in AP Biology and we just do these amazing labs. A few weeks ago we bred fruit flies and we found out their genome. We would uh, predict a genotypic and phenotypic ratio for what we expected to see off the offspring and we would count the number that we actually got and saw if those matched our predictions to figure out what type of genome does this fly have. I'd heard about that happening but never thought that I would be getting to do that in high school, you know. I think one of the things that struck me when I first came here over 20 years ago uh, was just the sense of intellectual curiosity that a lot of the kids had. It was cool at Wayland High School to be engaged, to be curious, to be interested in whatever the subject matter was. You now, the previous Wayland High School, I came across a lot of different things that were kind of interesting. And then among that stuff was a, a, a briefcase um, uh, full of documents that I had seen before, probably 15 or so years ago. And it turned out that it was uh, the entire personal collection of a fellow named Lieutenant Colonel Martin Joyce. We digitized the entire collection with a uh, grant provided by the Wayland Public Schools Foundation. We were trained to write summaries or abstracts of their documents so that not only would we be able to write this guy's story, but also to make the website um, an archive um, for our researchers. The students basically became historians. We all love stories as a, that's just a way that we learn about ourselves and about the past. Um, and uh, history is the greatest repository of stories that we have. I like making paintings because you can express things that you can't express with your words. Art's not something that like you can just put someone like put someone down with a piece of paper and like a pencil and be like, oh yeah, like draw a self-portrait. Like it's not that kind of thing. Like it's kind of one-on-one. -on -one. It's very personal. I really like Miss Armentano. I've had her all three years of high school. She's taught me that I can actually like make a mistake into like something that's really awesome. Something that's really great about Ms. Armentano is that instead of being like, no, this is wrong, like throw that out, she'll just be like, instead of doing this, do this. And she'll give you like constructive criticism. Waylon like spreads out its classes of art into like smaller groupings rather than like big auditoriums. It just makes a difference that it's a teacher who you also know as a person. It's nice to have that community. Some person or other must present the person of war! A nice thing about um, sort of the arts or stuff at Wayland 
is that it's not as separate, I feel like it might be at some other schools, because there's not just after school acting stuff, there's acting classes with Mr. Weingartner, dramatic arts, um, theater arts, improv. You get a lot of kids who don't usually do theater, who don't consider themselves theater kids involved in the program. That's really the, the coolest thing, and Mr. Weingartner really loves when he has students um, who are on sports teams, who do cheerleading, things like that. Do you meet people who are like, oh, I don't see shows, so I'm not that kind of, I don't go see theater. When you get those kinds of people in here, they always come out changed because of the unique level of dedication that Wayland High School theater students have. Everyone is committed to the idea that story comes first. We have a sort of universal language for all our actors. Um, we're all on the same page about certain things so, because, you know, everyone is at that rehearsal. Everyone is giving it their all. In the last couple of years, we've done a lot of original student work, and that takes um, an immense amount of trust on, obviously, the director's part. Um, but Mr. Wangarner really has, in the last couple of years especially, put a lot of faith in the student work that we put out. All right, we're not finished yet. Let's put that cherry on top with a sectional title, all right? Clap it up, nice clap. My name is Kevin Kelly, I'm a senior at Wayland High School. I've been wrestling for four years on the varsity team and I'm planning to set the bar high this year. I want to be a sectional champ, state finalist. Coming in freshman year is really tough. I was with a bunch of older kids working out and from that year I just saw so much improvement. So I think it's one of those sports, it's really the time you put in is what you get out. Wayland wrestling has only had one losing season in its 45 year career there's an expectation of winning there. And the wrestlers themselves, of course, want to be part of that tradition. They don't want to be anything different uh, than any of the other teams that have come before them. It's a test of life. I mean, it sounds corny, but it's true. And it shows you if you work hard and you put your mind to it, you can be something, you can do what you want. 